Now, DJ Joe Wiley and Gogglebox star Reverend Kate Botley are right here. They are going to be attempting three triathlons in three days. <laughs> Ah, for sport, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you are bonkers in the most yeah. fabulous way possible. How is it going? How's the training? Oh, how is the training? I haven't done anything for weeks, so I'm Have having that feel. Yeah, that real feeling oh, of, okay. of guilt. Because so it's, it's next week, right? Yeah, it's next Wednesday. Yeah. It all kicks off next Wednesday. Yeah. So um, we did an open water swim, which was cold, yes. very cold. Kate here doesn't normally like wearing a wetsuit. I like to be covered head to toe. Right, you liked going yeah. in the buff, really. Yeah, you? sometimes I don't even wear a wetsuit or a swimming costume. You I, just I, go... I like I like the water. I like getting in the water. Oh, so, so this is quite good for you. Well, the, the swimming we're doing the swim first thing. That's right. going to be the treat yes. for me as we get in the water, and then uh, this lot are going to have to drag me around the cycle and the and oh, the run. I think. The cycling's not great for you. Is it's it? not great. For you me. really need your training wheels. The on to last be on. bike I was on had a basket on the front and a little thing for my dolly on the back. Right. So oh, I'm that's me, yeah. that's exactly what I Stop do on the bike. Issue. That's how I stop yeah. the bike. <laughs> yeah. My husband goes nuts and it falls over and gets broken. Oh, I've, I've been reassured by the sport relief team, though, that there'll be a whole gang of people around me to catch me right. as the bike comes in to stop. OK, so how, what are we talking? How... How far are we swimming and how far are we cycling? OK, so because the water is so cold, we are allowed to stay in the water for 20 minutes. So we will do as much as we can okay. in that 20 minutes. So sure. hopefully 1K, so one kilometre. Right. Fantastic. Uh, we are cycling for 30K. I failed my cycling proficiency, so I am not good on a bike either. I broke my collarbone falling oh, off geez, the bike. Joe. So the bike is really scaring me yeah. as well. And then we run for 10K. That's the aim. Right. So it's further than I've ever done before. OK. It's certainly further than I've ever done before, and my running pace is about the same as a walking pace. So it's going to be That's slow. Yeah, but as long as you get there, That's yeah. it. what will be driving you on? Oh my gosh. Well, well, I went to visit a project, and I know you're going to be doing that as well. So we met some incredible people who've been dealt a really tough hand, right. and you just have their stories in your head when you're doing these sure. kind of things. As you know yourself, you know, you're just thinking, there is a reason. We're doing this for everybody else who just wants to give money and don't exactly. want to actually exert themselves. Exactly. So, you know, please support us whichever way you can, and no, you can brilliant. actually have a huge impact on people's lives. It, it really lives. is, and it makes a massive difference. Yeah. Uh, here at home, also, as mm -hmm. well as all the other projects. Oh, yeah, no, I, I went to a place in London, yeah, yeah. the running charity. That's the great incredible thing. Things. Yeah, that's, that's that's a great thing because it helps everyone, which is what we want. I'm to also do. doing it for everyone who was picked last in PE. Aww. That's who I'm doing yeah. it for, right? <laughs> you know, I loved PE. I loved my PE teacher. Shout out to Miss Barrett. But you know, it was a hard thing. You know, yeah. I last out the changing rooms, last to get picked. And my hope is that by watching someone like me having a go at this, that someone might be sat there and think. I, I, might, could do I could do something like that's that. That's great. I think that's really good. Because, of course, we get the amazing sports people that, that really help, and they do a great job. But it just shows any, anybody can. If you I, put your I mind honestly to it. was exactly the same. I was useless at sport when I was at school. I could swim, but I didn't learn to swim until I was about 10. Yeah. But I did nothing else. I really, really didn't. Um, I voiced the Couch to 5K app. I don't know whether you've heard of that. And I know yeah. a lot of people have started running. And people come up to me everywhere, festivals all over the place, and they say, it's changed my life doing this app, you know, because I did nothing. I just lay on no, the couch. No, it's, it's a brilliant thing so, to do and it, it gets you out of the house. It's good for your mental health and your physical health. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great thing to and do. And the weird thing is I've been using the app as well. So hey. I've been running in my park Aww. with Jo Wiley in my ears. And on the actual thing, she's going to be actually running real. next to me. <laughs> so did, you two, did you two know each other beforehand? Not at really. work, sort of like yeah, passing yeah, each other at work. But you must have bonded. I mean, yeah. the three of you... We've got Mitchie as well, yeah. She's doing it too. So the three of you, you, you'll all be there encouraging one another, which is fantastic. Now, look, Davina McCall's given you some good advice, I believe. <laughs> oh. Well, she's <laughs> talked about this magic cream that you can use because obviously bikes are quite challenging. Is that yes. what you're referring They're to? They're challenging <laughs> on your taint, I believe it's called. Is that what it's called? Yes. OK, right, yeah. Well, she's got some magic <laughs> cream that you can apply there and hopefully it makes Excellent. it all better. So there'll be no chafing? No, I'm not going to say Perfect. what it's called because... No, it's rude. No. But that's OK. We don't mind. No. Let, listen, whatever gets you there. Whatever helps is fantastic. It really is. Why is it so important, though, for you to... To, to be involved in something like this? Because, I mean, this is, this is where, you know, what you do... I mean, obviously, your day job, of course, you're always helping people, but what you do on TV and on radio and all of the things that you do, it allows you to do this. But you don't need to. So what is it that drives you? Well, for me, it's that sport changes lives, you know. Yeah. It, 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 this charity changes lives, but it also changes the way you feel about yourself. So we're all very good. I'm really good at talking about body positivity and talking about loving yourself. But when it actually comes to me... 
that's a little bit harder. Right. So I'm hoping that this won't only help other people, it'll also help me as well to that. change myself, no, you I know, and see myself that. in a different sure. light. No, and I've got so many great friendships. I've seen people's lives really changed by doing sport. I've run with friends and, you know, it's a different kind of relationship. When you're running side by side with someone, you talk and you Don't vent. You? And yeah, in a way yeah. that you just don't when you're sitting face to face having it's a cup of true. coffee. Yeah. But it, you're absolutely right. There's something about that not having eye contact. It actually mm. makes you speak more from the heart. You know, yeah. you actually end up pouring everything out, especially when yeah. you're training. Yeah. And you're making yourself vulnerable, right? You know, when yeah. I'm getting changed at the side of the lake or the river to get in with my swim sisters, we're making ourselves vulnerable in that space. And mm. that's really important because we're quick to put defences up all the time. Sure. More power to both of you. <laughs> Good luck. Obviously, we'll be following you. We want to find out how you're doing, of course, and we shall report back next week. But you know what? You're... Come We've on, women. We've got this. You've got You've got it. You've got well, it. Yeah. And you know what? We can see how Joe and Kate get on with that challenge as well during Sport Relief. It's going to be on 7 o'clock, BBC One, March the 13th. Do not miss it. Thank you both Thank very you. much. Thank right. You. Enjoyed that video? Then I think this next one will be right up your street. Or head to our homepage to discover more.